Hi guys, um, just thought I'd show you how to make I make my guacamole. Um, so far I've got four avocados in there, but take your avocado, slice with your fingers, open the avocado, take the nut out. Uh, I just like to score it, it makes it a lot easier to process. Put that in there with the other ones. As you can hear, I'm cooking up a little bit of bacon. That's the secret ingredient to my guacamole, is some bacon. So, look at that in a sec. So, the inside of the avocado, into the dish. Very straightforward. I start mashing that up. Now, once it's fairly combined, what I do, take a lime, slice it in half. I take the juice of about half a lime. And I'm going to put that in with the avocado. Right this makes it a little bit easier to combine. Start moving that around. Like that. Now, Depends on how crispy you like your bacon, but in my purposes, that's done. Place it on some paper towel so it drains a little bit, but what I want to do is take that bacon grease and I actually put that in with the uh, avocado mixture, just adds a lot more flavour to it. Alright, at this point, once it's fairly combined, I still like to have a bit of kind of chunk to it. Bit of salt. Again, combine that. Alright, so I've got one medium red onion. That goes in there. And uh, start to combine this all together. So it's up to you how much onion you'd like. Then, behind the fish is coriander. Uh, there's no real measurements for this, just kind of grab a bunch, peel it off. And roughly the shot. that in as well. Right. So, if you don't like coriander, there's, you don't have to put it in, you probably add a little bit more lime juice for a bit of flavour. I'm stirring all this up. Now, at this point, I've got a whole bunch of options. What I can do, I can add diced tomatoes. Now, what I've done with that is taken the seeds out, so it makes my guacamole a little less uh, wet. So I can chuck all that in. Give that a stir. It also has a nice little bit of colour, adds that to the plate. Alright. Now, my secret ingredient, smoke paprika. I put it on most things. Uh, once again, I'd probably say about half a tablespoon of smoked paprika, cayenne pepper. About two teaspoons. Again, give that a stir. For me, it's more of a taste thing, so I haven't tasted it yet. I want to put all the ingredients in there before I do that, because you don't want anything to overpower the dish. Now, a little bit of cumin seed. Now, this doesn't have a cap on it, so I'll grab my spoon. Uh, probably about a teaspoon of cumin just gives it once again, a little bit of depth of flavour. Keep stirring this around. Now you've got two options with the next part. You can either put some Tabasco or some dried chilli. I'm going to put some dry 
ground chili in there, just to add a little, little bit of heat. Right. So I've got that all combined. Now, I grab my bacon, because bacon makes everything better. Once again, just pretty much finely chop all the bacon, make sure don't chop your fingers. As you can hear, and crispy bacon. Pop that straight in, burn bits and all. A good spot. And give it a good stir. So, once again, in there, five avocados, one whole tomato, about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of smoked paprika. A little bit of cayenne pepper, a little bit of chili, some cumin, about two or three pinches of salt, three rashes of bacon, and just taste that. So a little bit more lime juice, so half a lime, and there you have it.